Hey future pilots, welcome back to my second video. Today we'll be talking about textbook essentials that you'll need for ground school as well as some really helpful prep and resources that are available when it comes to prepping for your PPL, your CPL, and any other exams. So let's dive into it. So the first textbook I highly recommend for your ground school is of course the flight training manual. So this book preps you for all the basics when it comes to things like landings, approaches, stalls, spirals, spins, all those fancy words, this is the foundational book for all of that. So get this book before you actually get into grad school and do some reading. A lot of it may not make sense if you're completely new to the field, but trust me, it'll make sense when you actually get into those flights with your instructor. And make sure you ask your instructor once the session is over what they would like for you to read up on next. All of this really starts to make sense when you read and you follow up with your actual flight session. Don't head into a flight session without doing the essential foundational work. So the next textbook I'm going to show is a textbook that your ground school will definitely have you purchase right upon entry, and that's gonna be from the ground up. So this textbook is often offered by itself, or you can also purchase it with a workbook, which I do have as well. I haven't used it yet, but this textbook is really helpful when it comes to understanding the more in-depth concepts. So how is the fuselage con constructed? Or what is the carburetor? And what does that de-icing process look like? That's something the flight training manual doesn't really cover. The flight training manual is more of the basic maneuvers. From the ground up is more of those in-detail things. And you might find yourself one day reading this textbook and thinking, do I need to know this? Is this important? Yes and no. Yes, it's important for your CPL, which is much more in-depth, but no, because you don't really need it for your PPL. This is more of like a fun fact sort of thing for you right now. And the final textbook that I recommend is your exam preparation guide. So for me, it's gonna be my PPL exam preparation guide. Maybe for some, it's gonna be your CPL, so forth. And this is really important when it comes to, um, of course, before you get into grad school, Personally, I find it important to be able to connect those concepts to what is going to be on the actual exam. As you go through your ground school theory classes and with your flying sessions with your instructor, you're going to absorb a lot of information. When you refer back to this textbook, you'll be easily able to know whether you understood and really digested a concept or if you still have some gaps. Go back to your instructor and clear up that doubt now before it's a couple months later and you don't really know what you know and you don't know, if that makes sense. So definitely get this exam preparation guide before you start ground school or maybe about a semester in when you're definitely sure like this is the path you want to pursue. And don't worry really too much about what year it's from. If there's a difference between the textbook from the year before and the newest edition, your instructor will be sure to let you know or you can ask your instructor if it's okay, of course, to uh, be purchasing a guide from the year before. I'm sure they will be able to help you out. So definitely give your ground school a call and figure out what supplies are included with the fee and what isn't. For me, I bought some of my textbooks already before I even got enrolled into my program. And I bought it from Avworld or AV World. I'll link it in the description below. It's a store that's in Mississauga. You can order it online, or of course you can go in person, get your textbooks. And later on, once you are achieving your PPL or you're, you're definitely, you're sure you're on the right path, you can go and buy those expensive Clark Davidson or Bose headsets as well from the store. Or you can, of course, go with your ground school choice and just purchase the supplies from there as well. Now, if you're like me and you're just prepping for the P-Star, you're not yet into the nitty gritty of the PPL and everything that's yet to come, you could go on to TC Canada and go through that really tedious and long doc, like super mundane doc, and memorize everything. Or you could really understand what's happening with the questions and go and use Robin's Improved P-Star Study Guide. This is a website that goes through every single question, highlighting why each answer is right or wrong, so you can understand where that information is getting pulled from. I found this uh, guide to be super helpful. Actually, I used it in the summer to prep before um, coming in September, and it just makes my uh, classes so much easier. Instead of kind of struggling to do an assignment and searching up the TC Canada doc to answer my assignments, I already have it committed to memory. 
So using this website is certainly a helpful resource when it comes to just prepping for your piece start. And the last resource I definitely recommend is the resources that are put out by the airline pilot Keith DeMello. So he offers a lot of help when it comes to your interview and resume prep. But not only that, if you navigate to his Instagram bio and click on the link that's under there, you'll be able to see that he provides a lot of um, prep like the IATRA exam prep and the PSTAR exam prep. As well, there's technical interview questions as well as resume writing help that he offers. So feel free to check that out and go through his resources. Um, there's some really good stuff in there. That concludes today's video, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. As always, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thanks so much and I'll see you next time, future pilots.